right, what if I told you that there was a diet that told you to eat more? Yes, more. Or that you could be a part of the very popular vegan diet and you can get the great results that we see on the celebrities, but you only had to be vegan until lunch every day. Sounds too good to be true. Well, let's see if these tips really work by checking in with best-selling author and celebrity fitness trainer, Jorge Cruz. Jorge, thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Tina. Well, let me first start off by telling you uh, from a girl that is hangry very easily, the name of your book, uh, Tiny in Full, is what I aspire to be every day. <laughs> Ah, well, you know, um, you can do it. And I'll tell you the key, because I've been doing this for now 20 years as a, as a trainer to the stars, if you will. And, you know, just this week in Life and Style, there was a beautiful article about Jennifer Lopez and talks about how she's a part-time vegan. I have the clip here, or the, the image, take a look at this. And more importantly, they talk about how tiny and full in the article is truly representative of this new movement in Hollywood, because it's about knowing that being a vegan full-time doesn't work. It's a failure. I'm part of uh, President Clinton's foundation for uh, childhood obesity. He was one of the most famous vegans for years after his quadruple bypass. But even President Clinton, I just had dinner with him two months ago with my partner, Sam. We had a beautiful dinner in New York City. And it was, a, it was you know, we had all our vegetables, but we had our salmon at night. And that's what people are getting. Even J-Lo knows that being a part-time vegan is the way to do it. And I'll tell you why. It gives you high volume food so you eat more while cutting calories and I can give you a ton of examples I've got a few here Tina when you're ready oh yeah I'm absolutely ready because you know when you're saying vegan I know some people think oh that sounds a little overwhelming or it's such a lifestyle change that I don't oh, think I can yeah. take on well, people hate so, being a vegan well I can't well I can't wait for to, to hear these tips how you're gonna make it easy <laughs> for us well, I'll give you an example. I just had a banana. So take a look at this image. It's a banana. Yeah, a banana is 100 calories. This is like a large one. If you have to do a medium or a small, it's even less. But guess what also is 100 calories? And you get to choose. If you were hungry, and so you're not hangry, right? What would you choose? You have two Oreos. Each Oreo is 50 calories. So you have 100 calories on that image. Or you can have a whole banana. We all know if you're going to fill up your stomach, I think the banana may win. Would you agree, Tina, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. And if you don't like bananas, imagine this image. 62 grapes, 100 calories, or you can have nine, but I'm sorry, 62 grapes or two Oreo cookies, I should say. I had my image wrong. I apologize. Uh, or, or you can have two Oreo cookies. It was 62 grapes. My apologies, Tina. But it's really understanding this one concept, Tina, more than anything else, that if you eat less and try to like cut calories that way, you will be hangry. You will be breaking your metabolism and you need to not do that. I'll give you an example of what I'm going to have for lunch today. I'm making this with my family later today. We're making spaghetti. But here's one more example. I think this one's the best one. It's truly like what I love and I eat at least once or twice a week because uh, my partner is Italian and he loves Italian food and so we make Italian food for our kids. But spaghetti squash, you can have two and a half cups of that. It looks and tastes like pasta because you're going to put marinara sauce, Parmesan cheese, all the things you love. You can have bread with it or you can have only one cup of regular pasta, which is almost much more than half the, the amount. And it's about being smart and understanding that if you can learn how to eat where you're incorporating low calorie foods that fill you up, you're going to lose weight without dieting. Because we all know, Tina, if you diet and you have that mindset, those three letters in the word diet are there for a reason, because you feel dead inside. When you decide to start the new year off by eating less to lose weight, it's about eating more and cutting calories. And that's what Tiny Fool really is all about. Well, that thought of eating more and cutting calories, that was like, <laughs> I'm waiting for that to happen in my life. So I can't <laughs> wait to go through the book, Jorge, and see even more great ideas on how to do this. And, and like you said, we're, we see great results with other people. So I'm so thankful that you stopped to talk with us. Thank you so much. Of course. Well, my pleasure. And anyone out there wants to pick up the book, it's out everywhere in the country. I heard from my publisher that we're selling it by the pallet now at Costco. So if you guys have Costco's out there in Tucson, please check it out. But the book's digital, too. It's on the Apple Store. It's on Kindle. It's everywhere. It's called Tiny and Full. And I'm giving away a lot of free recipes and ideas on my Instagram at Tiny and Full as well, if people want to check that out today. Absolutely. Well, I already have my book sitting on my desk, so I'm already ahead of the game. <laughs> Thank you again, Jorge. Uh, thank you, Tina, so much. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.